My name's Houston, and I'm back with another pickup. This time I got the Jordan 6 Carmines from Weedian. And here's a look at the label. It's a little hard to see. There's no light in here. It's got um, that little speckled paper. The box is pretty good. It's just dirty, dusty. I guess they've been sitting a while, but there's no real damage to it or anything. And this is probably the best box that came in the haul. So here's the shoes. And I do have a pair of the authentic ones, but they got the Jumpman on the back. And I'll probably be getting that down in a minute to show you. To do a little comparison, and I think these were $13 or $14. And they are heavy. They got the weight, correct weight to them. Materials are nice. It feels like real leather. And the Dora Buck is, doesn't have the texture like the authentic ones. You might have to go over it with a suede brush or something to bring out that texture. It just feels very... Like very smooth. It doesn't have that little rough texture it's supposed to. And these have black insole. It says Nike Air on it. it says it on the back here too. And this little pull tab is sturdy. It's not, you know, it's not flimsy or anything. The tongue too, it's got a real firm tongue on it. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall over when you unlace them. And there's a couple flaws with them as well as far as this. That's just the way it is. It doesn't stay up straight. And one of the, the lace locks here, this one is a replacement. The other one, I do have it, but the little button, when you press it down, it just stays down. It's broken. I haven't tried to fix it yet, but when I do, I'll put it back on this side because this one's a little lighter than that one. And it has the Jumpman on it. And this one says Nike on it. And let me get the other authentic shoes so I can show you the other flaw. All right, so here's the flaw that I found with these. And that would be the toe box. It's too bulky. See it here? And I'll show you what I mean right now. So this is the my authentic pair. And I'm going to show you the difference of toe box. Can you see it now? Oh, it's too big. It's not as sleek as the one on the on the left here. And this is my authentic pair. And you can see it next to the $13 pair. And it is a pretty good replica. But like I said, that needs to be fixed. I think what I'll do is later take the glue off and then cut some of this material from this part off. And press it down and heat it up. And it'll straighten out that toe box. And everything else is good on them. Soles are nice and firm. They're not flimsy. You can't bend these in at all. Yeah, so it, this was a good deal. And I think this is the only other flaw here is this part. But you can get like a heat gun and heat that up and you can reshape that back to where it's supposed to be. I think they get like this from being squashed in the little box. Yeah, but like I said, all you need is a little suede brush and you can fix the, the suede on these. And that's about it. If you don't care about the toe box and stuff like that, this one's a little better. It's not as big as this one. This one is just too big. I just think they didn't glue it right. Or when they put the material on the shoe, on the last, they didn't wrap it tight enough. So that's why it's, it came out like this. So if you have any questions, like I always say, you can ask them down below, but I can't post links or anything. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, and I'll catch you on the next video.